What's up guys, Justin here with the SketchupEssentials.com back with another SketchUp quick tutorial for you. So in this video I wanted to talk about a few different ways that you can uh, fix textures that aren't working in your model. Sometimes SketchUp doesn't necessarily map textures quite the way you want them to map. In this video I'm going to show you what you can do um, a few different ways in order to get those textures working properly. Today's video is brought to you by the SketchUp Essentials course. So the SketchUp Essentials course is a course that I created to give you kind of a start to finish training in SketchUp. So uh, it's going to give you everything you need to get in there and start modeling in SketchUp quickly. And then it's going to get into some advanced topics like layout, advanced modeling, rendering, that sort of thing. So if that's something you're interested in, you want to take your SketchUp training to the next level, make sure you check that out at the sketchupessentials.com slash course. Now let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, so the, one of the things that you may have noticed in SketchUp, um, especially if you've uh, started working with some more complex shapes, is sometimes when you apply a texture to a shape, it doesn't get mapped onto the geometry properly. So if I was to try to apply this carpet pattern um, texture to this object, you can see how SketchUp is taking it and it doesn't really know how to map it onto the individual faces. So if I was to go into View and click Hidden Geometry, you're gonna see that this is basically broken up into a whole bunch of different flat faces and SketchUp is applying this material to each one of these individually instead of a uh, map to the object as a whole. And so I wanted to go through some of the options for things that you can do in order to fix this. So the first way that I'm going to talk about is going to be probably the easiest way and uh, Basically what you're going to do is you're going to set your texture so that it's a projected texture. So right now SketchUp is applying this texture based on the individual faces. But what we're going to do is we're going to put this texture on a flat face and then we're going to tell it to project that texture over this face instead of trying to apply it individually like this. So in this case what I'm going to do is you could probably just draw a rectangle above this. In this case, this has a circular base. So I'm just gonna make a copy of the circular base up above. So it's gonna be directly above my object. And then I'm gonna right click on that and I'm gonna go to reverse faces. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna apply this material to this face. Cause you know SketchUp is pretty, SketchUp can apply this to a flat face really easily. So you can see there's no problems with this. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this instance of this texture that I applied to this face. I'm gonna right click on it and I'm gonna go down and I'm gonna edit the texture and I'm gonna tell it that it's projected. And so basically when you say that a texture is projected, what that means is SketchUp knows that when you put it on a face, it needs to project this on here. But now what we're gonna do is we're gonna sample this texture. So I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna click the eyedropper in the material section of my tray, and I'm gonna sample this texture. So now that texture is selected rather than the default texture that's in your material section. And I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna click on this face. And you can see how when I do this, what this does is this is now projecting that texture straight down from this flat face. And so that's a really easy way um, that works sometimes when you're trying to project textures on more complex faces. And so sometimes though that doesn't work very well because let's say for example that I had this object or let's say I had another copy of this object and it was kind of standing up over here. So let's say that it had a different angle upwards just like this. Well, the problem with this is if I select my projected face and I try to apply it over here, you can see how the mapping gets all messed up because SketchUp is setting this as a straight up and down projection. And so you can see what this is doing is this is projecting this straight down on top of this object um, and the orientation isn't working very well. And so sometimes when you start dealing with issues like this, you wanna get into more like extensions. And so I'm gonna talk about a couple extensions that you can use in order to map different textures as well. So an extension you can use in order to do this, and probably one of my favorites because it's really easy to use, is called Through Paint. And so basically what this extension does is it just gives us more options for the way that we can map things in our model. So if I was to click on the through paint extension option and I was to go up here, you can see how this gives me multiple different ways for this to uh, try to project different things within your model. So like for the UV painting, for example, there's several different options in here like quad mesh 
or natural UV or project it again. So if we were to come in here and select this and then apply this to this face, we could try each one of these and you can see how each one of these is gonna treat this texture differently. So you can see how in this case, uh, the first two options don't work really well because this isn't the right application for them. The last one, projected, is gonna do something very similar to what we did over here. And so all I would do is I would set this so that it's uh, basically doing this along the green plane and I could click on this face, and you can see how that's gonna map this based on that. And one of the nice things about this extension, when you come in here and you click on this, is it gives you all of these tools for adjusting the size and the location of your different textures. So I can make this bigger, smaller, everything's really easy with this extension. And so in this case, let's say that we have a, more of like a sandboxy type shape like this. And I've gone in here and I've applied this to this face. And note that this is important. If you've applied the material to the outside of the group, then you're gonna need to find a different way to do this. In this case, what, um, what through paint does is it actually helps you with the face itself. And so what you would do is you would just activate this you would just sample the material so that it's selected and you can see how that's selected up here. And then you could just try your different UV painting options in order to adjust the way this gets applied to this face. So in this case, the quad mesh UV seems to work pretty well. And then if we try the natural UV, you can see how that doesn't work quite as well. Um, your material comes in here and it gets kind of uh, distorted a little bit. And then if we were to use the projected, then this would project this up and down. So in this case, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go with the quad mesh, but again, I can come in here and I can adjust the sizing, the scaling, and the location of this really easily with the way this is getting applied to this face. There's also more complex UV mapping applications out here. So like for example, let's say I had a shape like this that I wanted to apply this tile texture to. Um, there's an extension called Wrapper you can use that basically is a more advanced UV mapping tool. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna explode this option. And so what you would do is you would activate Wrapper and then what this is gonna allow you to do is that allows you to come in here and like edit your different vertices. You can even like split this up um, so that the different parts and pieces get different things projected on here. So, so you can do a lot of different things with this extension. But in this case, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come in here and I'm gonna select all my vertices and I'm gonna zoom out and then I'm gonna scale this object up over here in my preview pane. And you can see what that does is that allows me to really manually adjust the way that this texture gets mapped onto my object. So this is a really kind of advanced UV mapping tool. And I've only done a little bit with this extension, but it's really powerful for UV mapping. And I'll link to more information about this in the notes down below. And so V-Ray, also has some options in here for UV projection. The nice thing about V-Ray is it has kind of a library of materials that you can apply to your model. In this case, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna apply a V-Ray brick material to this object. So I'm gonna come in here and I'm just gonna right click and I'm gonna select the option for apply to selection. And I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna resize this a little bit. Um, so I'm gonna bring this material in and I'm gonna make this about three feet. And so this already looks pretty good, but you can see how when this goes around this corner right here, um, things aren't necessarily 100% lining up. I mean, this is mapped okay to this flat face, but you can see how what, what you start having is you start getting these little irregularities that make things look not very realistic. Well, since I've applied this to the outside of this group, what I can do is I can use V-Ray's UV mapping tools in order to make this continuous. For something like this, you can right click you can go down to your V-Ray UV tools and you can click on the option for triplanar projection. I believe this is only gonna work if this is applied to the outside of a group, but you can see what that did is that came in here and that made these materials continuous. So you don't have that kind of weird jarring change between the texture here and the texture here. So this does a lot better job of UV mapping and projecting this onto this face. So you can also use UV tools in V-Ray for stuff like this as well. So that should give you a few different options for things that you can try if your textures aren't quite mapping properly. Leave a comment below. Let me know, did I leave anything out? Is there anything you like to do with uh, UV mapping? I just love having that SketchUp conversation with you guys. If you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to 
click that subscribe button for new SketchUp content every week. Um, if you like what I'm doing in this channel, please consider supporting me on Patreon. Every little bit helps, even if it's only a dollar a month. So make sure you check out that link in the notes down below. But in any case, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.